is another quick tip from Whole Latte Love. If you have an espresso machine with an auto frothing steam wand, today I'm going to show you how to test it to make sure it's operating properly. Plus, I've got an easy way for you to learn how it works that's sure to get you a better milk froth. And stick around for the end of the video for my bonus tip on how to practice frothing as much as you want without using a drop of milk. Hey latte lovers, Mark here from wholelattelove.com with some quick tips for better milk frothing. So first thing we're going to do is show you how to test your auto frothing wand to make sure it's operating properly. Now all you need to do that is a clear glass filled with some cool water and of course your machine. Dirty and improperly assembled steam wands are two huge reasons for poor frothing performance. An easy way to make sure your wand is performing properly is to steam some water in a clear glass. So with your machine ready to steam, put the tip of the wand just below the surface of the water and turn on the steam. If your wand's working well, you'll see a good amount of air bubbles swirling around your glass. Now, in a minute, I'll get into detail on how tip position affects frothing. But for now, keep the tip of the wand very close to but below the water's surface. Now, if you're not seeing lots of air bubbles, your wand may be gummed up with old milk, preventing air from getting in or it may be improperly assembled. I'm simulating that by plugging up the air intake which all auto frothing wands have. It may be a little pinhole like on this Gaja wand, a larger hole like on this DeLonghi wand, or slots near the top like on this one. Milk blockages at the air intake or inside the wand will cause poor performance. So be sure to thoroughly clean the wand after use. If needed, you can use a pin to clear milk residue on small air intakes like this one. And when your wand's off, you should check the pipe coming out of the machine and clean that with a pin if needed. A slight blockage there can cause problems too. Now if everything is clean but you're still not getting air into the milk, check to make sure your wand is properly assembled. Many wands have internal components that can be separated for cleaning. When reassembled, be sure all parts are fully seated. A common issue with some wands is not fully seating the internal sleeve. You can use a pen or something similar to push it in so it looks like this when put together. With your wand operating properly, let's take a look at how tip positioning affects frothing. Now, when you did the test, you kept the wand tip slightly below the surface of the milk. And that's the position which introduces the most air into the milk. But watch what happens as we move the tip further into the milk. As it goes down, less air is added. And it works like this on most every auto frothing steam wand. So, by adjusting the tip position relative to the surface of the milk, you can control the amount of air added. So, if you want an airy froth for a cappuccino, you might keep the tip closer to the surface of the milk. For a silky microphone for a latte, you might start close to the surface and then go deeper to add less air and continue swirling. Or, you may want to start a little deeper in the milk and add less air for a longer period. Now, every machine is going to be a little different, so understanding your machine and how tip position affects the amount of air going in will definitely help you get your milk froth just the way you like it. Of course, it takes some practice too. So, my bonus tip, add a few drops of dish soap to water and you can practice frothing all day long without using a drop of milk. The soap and water mix behaves almost identically to milk when frothed. Now, I really hope these tips help you get better frothing performance. I'm Mark from wholelattelove.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll come back soon and learn more about everything coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh.